Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Chat Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little app review for Clash of Clans. And you probably know about this app because it is one of the top grossing apps in the App Store. It's a top free app uh, for quite a while now. So I'm just going to do a quick little overview of it in case you haven't heard of it and give you my thoughts on it. So basically in this game, you create a little city and in your city, you can build different things from these elixir creators to these gold mines and uh, build walls around your resources and you can have a clan here. I can request troops from my clan right there and uh, I can view my clan right here and stuff like that. So you can um, have friends on it and get into different clans and attack other clans now in this new update and it's a lot, uh, it's been greatly improved in the last update. So anyways, uh, I can uh, create some troops here. As you can see, my bases are currently full. I have maxed out my camps. I have one of my camps upgrading right now. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you uh, the attack feature here. I'm going to find a random match here. And I'm going to attack them if I can find a good match here. I'm just going to find one that has a lot of resources and relatively low defenses because I don't have too much time to film this. But... Uh, this one will be good enough. So what I'm going to do, this one will be really simple. I'm just going to, uh, as you can see, I have all my different types of troops down here. I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to send out my, these troops first, then my wall breakers so that they can get in there. Uh, then my giants and archers, send some over here to attack some of these. I'll throw some of this healing potion out there to heal them. These guys are really good. These are the wizards. And then my goblins, which will go in and take all the loot. And then as soon as right here, this is a uh, aerial defense, so I can't really put out, I could put out, I'll just put out my uh, balloons here and have those attack. And this should be won pretty quickly here. Taking all of the elixirs you can see in the top left corner. About to destroy their clan base here, and there we go. Now it's just going to go around. This guy has put these builder huts around the edges. Just takes longer time. But uh, I will have this place completely destroyed. And it will be 100% success. Now we'll take, I've already taken all of their loot. And as you can see in the mid left side of the screen, if I would have got defeated, I would have lost 22 trophies. Trophies are basically just your ranking system. You can gain or lose them very quickly, uh, depending on how your base is set up. Some people intentionally lose a lot of trophies just to get lower on the ranking so that they can uh, basically farm off of lower level people, which is a pretty good technique. I'm going to return home here. And here we are. So you start off with two builders. You can buy more builders with gems. Of course, you can buy gems with real money. Or you can earn the gems yourself from playing the game and doing these achievements here. Um, or just getting rid of these stupid trunk of chunks of trees and bushes and stuff. If you get rid of those, sometimes you'll find gems in them. So there's a lot of strategy to this game. And there are a lot of websites out there to help you. Get, pick a good strategy for building your base. Um, so there's that aspect of it as well. Then there's the chat and social aspect of it. Uh, this is my clan. Well, it's not my clan, but the clan that I'm a part of, uh, the Hamlets here. Uh, we've got a chat here. We haven't been very active on the chat lately, but here are our players. A lot of them left as soon as the new clan wars started because people went to different clans and stuff. So if you want to join, go ahead. Uh, there's not really any requirements right now. Uh, it's more of just for fun. But yeah, there's also global chat, but I never really go into that. So Then there's the shop down here. And here you can uh, upgrade your resources or put out more um, storages and collectors and stuff and things like that. I've already maxed out all of my defenses that I can put out uh, for my level. 
If I wanted to get more, all I have to do is upgrade my town hall, which costs 1.2 mil gold coins, and then I can put out more mortar towers and uh, different more attacks, more um, archer towers and stuff, and more walls I will be able to do. And then I can upgrade things more like these right now. So I can train some troops now. I just use them all, obviously, in that last attack. So I usually like to have a healer, about 10 of these guys. Then I will move on to the next one, put out two of these, two of these, 10 of these. Well, eight, that's close enough. And then over here, I will do probably about mostly the, uh, these archers. They're really good. I have them leveled up quite a bit and some goblins. This isn't really the best setup here, but those are just a general basis for what to do. And then I can create some spells here. The one on the right, the blue one is a attack spell, which you probably saw me use in the last battle. And the other one is a healing spell, which heals your players as they're out there. So over here in the laboratory, you can upgrade your troops. I've maxed mine out for my current level. And uh, so I'll be upgrading my town hall soon. It's only level six, so I'll make it level seven pretty soon. So I can upgrade the rest of my guns. So I highly recommend it if you're just looking to kill some time. Uh, I have not had to spend any money on it so far, and I'm already this far. It's really not required to spend money unless you really want to progress quickly. Uh, but other than that, uh, the times can be kind of... Uh, you might be tempted to spend money to buy gems to speed up these times, but it's really not worth it. Uh, the times can be get a little bit long as you uh, progress through the game, but overall it's nothing too unbearable. It kind of makes the game more fun and suspenseful as you're waiting. So that's about it for this uh, app review for you guys. And if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.